Welcome to Moments in Time and Space, a microfiction podcast, bringing you tales of horror and suspense with your host, Aaron Miracle. Hello, everyone. A child's love for their parents knows no bounds. Sometimes, it is so powerful that it can overlook strange behaviors that should not be ignored. And with that, the prince rescued the princess and they lived happily ever after. Nell clapped as her father finished the bedtime story and set the book down on her nightstand. He pulled up the thick covers to her neck and tucked her in for the night. That was a wonderful story, father, Nell said. Will mother be home soon? She will, once she has done visiting Aunt Gail. I can hardly wait. Neither can I, little one. Good night. Nell's father turned off the light and shut the door behind him, plunging the bedchamber into near darkness. Nell burrowed down into her covers and sighed. Mother had been gone for almost two weeks now, and Nell missed her greatly. Father had not been himself lately, and she wished Mother was here to take care of him. Nell was still a little angry with Mother for leaving during the night without a goodbye, but Father said she needed to go urgently to see Aunt Gail. Father forgot to kiss me goodnight, Nell thought. Nell slipped out of her bed and wandered the door of her bedchamber. She paused as she put her hand on the door handle. Father had warned her not to disturb him in the evenings, as he was working on something very important, but Nell knew she wouldn't be able to sleep until she got her goodnight kiss. Knowing Father would understand, Nell opened the door and slipped out into the hallway. The thick green carpet muffled the sounds of her small feet as Nell headed towards the grand staircase. She hoped Father would start feeling better soon. The past few days, he hardly ate any dinner and seemed to forget things. He often seemed distracted, and Nell was annoyed when it took effort to get his attention. After descending the grand staircase and creeping through the empty house, Nell arrived at the door of her father's study. She placed her small hand on the ornate handle and paused. She bit her lip as she remembered again her father's instructions that he was not to be disturbed in the evenings. After contemplating for a few moments, Nell made her decision. She twisted the handle, slowly opened the door, and slipped inside her father's study. The room was lit by a single lamp on the corner of father's large ornate desk. The solitary light source cast dancing shadows on the bookcases that lined the walls of the sanctuary. Nell saw the back of her father's large other chair pushed back into the desk and smiled. The smile faded when she saw her father's arms hanging limp over the sides of the chair. There were strange guttural noises coming from beyond the chair, and Nell thought she could hear something scratching on top of the desk. Father? Nell called softly. The guttural noises stopped suddenly. Nell could see her father's limp arms jerk a bit, and a brief wet sucking sound filled the study. Her father made some coughing noises and spun around in his large leather chair. Nell, what are you doing out of bed? gargled her father. Nell stared at her father wobbling in his chair. His eyes rolled around and seemed to try to focus in different directions. His mouth moved in a weird size motion as he spoke, and Nell wasn't sure if he was angry or sad she had come to see him. Nell's father slowly rocked his head back and forth. Nell... What are you doing out of bed? Um, you forgot a goodnight kiss, Nell replied. Nell's father slowly rose from his chair and looked unsteady on his feet. Oh, yes, of course. You go back to bed and I will be there shortly to give you a kiss. Father, when is mother coming home? Soon, once she's done visiting Aunt Betty. Aunt Betty? Don't you mean Aunt Gail? Yes, Aunt Gail. Now... Back to bed. I will be up shortly. I need to finish some business. Nell watched Father collapse back into his leather chair and slowly spin around. She slowly backed out of the study and rushed back up to her room, dreading the forthcoming kiss goodnight. Father always knows best. Thank you for listening. If you like what you heard, please subscribe to the podcast and leave a review. You can also follow me on Twitter and Moments in TAS. Feel free to recommend this podcast to others and help it grow. The opening and closing theme is Creepy Night by Daniel Carlton. Until next time, be safe, be smart, and be well. See you soon.